Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to another episode of Rogue State Revolution. Episode 2, just getting our feet wet as the leader of this rogue state. Again, we don't actually know if we're going to be that rogue. I mean, maybe we're going to be nice and good and liberal and progressive and uh, fit into the international order just fine. Or maybe we're going to, you know, develop nuclear weapons on the down low and... I don't actually know how the late game will go in this game, so <laughs> we'll kind of see how things go. One thing that I do know, you, know, you can kind of like say, I, I actually consider this, we're going to try and uh, embrace conservative values, uh, religious conservatism, really like dig into this and try and maintain that. But at the same time, like I think one thing that you end up doing in this game, and I don't know, I'm not that experienced in it, but my experience does tell me this, limited experience, you kind of got to go with how the game swings, right? There are going to just be events. There are going to be things that happen. You know, the way that your neighbors, uh, their attitude, uh, that kind of dictate where you're going to move into. And again, maybe, maybe I'm wrong and you can just strong arm it, but maybe I'm not. Eh, well, we're going to find out. Night has come on the month. The month's, uh, <laughs> the sun cycle on this world is an entire month, as it turns out. Let's just go in on the turn. I could have moved my military units there. Probably should have. Ah, our first event. A number of prominent clerics of the old ways have issued a condemnation of the graphic violence and sexuality found in Basenji cinema and are demanding the government establish censorship laws to establish a modicum of decency in our cultural products. Probably a good idea. Our movies are actually pretty messed up. A little bit of bonus religious approval in Basenji, but we do get minus one entertainment. Ouch. The government has no place regulating our cultural media. We lose 5% religious approval, 3% liberal, and 1% entertainment. But it's only possible. These are both certain. This is certain. These are only possible. Let's see what happens. We actually got all of it, which is really nice. I think getting the minus 5% is well worth it with the plus 3% liberal and the plus 1 entertainment. Ooh, baby. All right, we are now producing 34 glorious units. Glorious units of processed food. We don't need any, which means we can start selling any. But what we're going to do, first of all, because we're actually bottlenecked right here by food. So we are going to plop down. We're gonna pop down another one of these bad boys right there because we are gonna want more food we do want to dismantle more camps they provide food themselves but they also inhibit um what is it prosperity and you i still don't really know which ones these are rumai so if we go and look at diplomacy one rule of law why are we so bad at rule of law Fast justice, no karifi rights. That's not great. Trending down, you're trending up. You're trending up. And you're fine. Rule of law, that's pretty bad. Fast justice, you say. Buildings are 20% less likely to experience an increase in corruption. Bonus of public safety, minus the rule of law and liberal approval. This one costs money and does not increase public safety. But we'll flip that rule of law around substantially. Negligent policing, minus two per turn, minus the public safety. Uh, I think this is actually a little bit better. <laughs> I'm not gonna go with brutal or martial law. Bureaucratic policing. I kind of like it. I don't know if we're going to switch to fair justice just yet. Um, you do have a malice here. So dismantling one of these things. So the squiggly line and this whatever that is, a hat looking thing. I believe it drops diplomatic influence. It's not going to help all that much. Of law is very, very bad. Um, 
You want us to get processed food or train intelligent agent? We kind of want to do both. So we're going to actually go here and make an intelligence agency. It does give a bonus to public safety, which everywhere is pretty good on that. I think we're just going to put it right smack in the middle. Lots of available workers here. It must be adjacent to a town. Fair enough. We'll uh, we'll do it here in Marajima, Majimara. Yes. In addition to improving regional public safety, the intelligence agency allows you to spend that intelligence on spies. Yes. Spies are specially designed. Ah, it requires twenty intelligence to train them. levels, they can unlock more powerful. Regional levels. public safety, very good public safety here. Fine. Um, very important, we continue to move our surveyor. He will automatically go now that he's been set, right? We can see there. Our military, however, and this is kind of a problem. It's a big place. Big place. Not much we can do. I mean, I think we kind of need to leave them together here. We don't really have the cash to get that many more units. I don't want to spend the cash on that many more units, at least. Uh, you can do things to like upgrade, right? Waste capture. It does require a favor, which we do not have. And it reduces uh, pollution and increases production. It's not going to happen for us. Second surveyor is going there. Facility inspector is already moving. Our military can all stay put. We got one turn, one thing left that we can do. Everybody is researching as they should. I don't want to start trying to sell any processed food just yet. Um, but minus the prosperity is pretty bad. I think what I'm going to do to kind of offset that is we're going to dismantle another one of these camps. That should raise the prosperity here in time. It doesn't cost me anything. Wait, this is also requires a favor, which we don't have. We actually have no favors from anybody. And now, can I see here? Yeah, diplomatic influence. We are a rogue state right now. Tends with our neighbors, polite relationship. Okay, that's fine. Um, what would we want to do? I don't think there's actually much for us to do. Our, our money kind of limits us. Could consider another thing for food. But I think, actually, Excellency. moving our surveyors, I will expedite you. Very well. And we will move you here. Excellency. We're out of movement. Fair enough. All right. End the turn. Civilians are moving to their requested destinations. That's fine. I urge you to develop, approve the development of a market in Karif. So, if we do this, if we actually build a market in Karif, on success we would gain some. I mean, Tariq, can I actually see your exact numbers here? You're at 50%. This would get you up. If you failed, you would go down to 39 to 43. It's not great. A market in Karif. Five months remaining for a market in Karif. Which one is Karif here? Here. And what is a market? <laughs> Good question. Um, prosperity, immigrant approval, and urban approval. A sucre, your citizens engage in trade. It does cost power and upkeep. But, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to just do it right away. And we want it in Karif, yeah? Done. Thrilled about it. Objective complete. Loyalty increased. Minister favor earned. And policy unlocked. Understood. He just banged it out. He just banged it out. He finished it for us. Fantastic. Um, other ways in which we can make more money. Because in the early game, I find that money really does kind of hurt. When the capital development of a country becomes a byproduct of the activities of a casino, the job is likely to be ill done. No doubt. 
legalize youth labor, workers comp, additional health access. Relax building codes, increases prosperity, but drops public safety. Okay, <laughs> I guess we're gonna do that. We do have a minimum wage. Right, you can see now we've got a favor there. We can use this to get money, but also now if we go ahead and review our budget, these are available to us. No, we don't have enough cash for it. The question is, and this is often something I think about, should we take out a debt bond? 217% interest. So we would end up paying back 34. The problem is we don't actually, we have very, very little income right now. Um, and being able to reinvest that might be worthwhile. Uh, but first, he does improve public safety wherever he goes. Exploit asset. Get some dirt on a prominent VIP and find yourself a new source of revenue. 50% chance of receiving 20 bucks. No, let's just get a new intelligence officer. Yes. Now the intelligence officer, okay, we, we have sound. There is criminal activity, rebel activity. We are immediately going to go and deal with this threat. Did I not select the, the helicopter? You're going. Let's go find out what's going on. All right, we still have, we still have two, but honestly, there's not so much for us to do. Um, we can just have everybody go where they're supposed to go. Um, if I can build another farm, I will build another farm. As you can see here, once again, we are a little bit capped. We're making 65. Perhaps we can sell some. Is anyone demanding processed food? You are. You don't have the greatest relationship, however. You are also demanding processed food, and you're polite. Negotiate trade. I will propose it. That's a really nice way to make some more money. We're tense with you, Babelistan. Why? Do you not like Zarbil, maybe? International issues, regional influence, or they support. Everyone is disinterested in us right now. We're not doing so good on the rule of law still. We're apparently quite corrupt. Um, do I have enough to build a farm? Yes. And I will do so. I know we don't have any demand for these processed goods, so we can sell them all. Fortunately, that is really going to help out our economy. Yeah. And we can end the turn. Just like that. A Basenji spy operating in Babelistan has been captured. How do I have... <sighs> Disavow any knowledge. Yeah, they freaking hate us. And are probably they're gonna go to war with us. Uh, they're an enemy nation. Yes, hi. Can I be friends with you? <laughs> I don't think there's anything we can do right there. Fair enough, fair enough. Prosperity is still not great. Exploitative perspective. Trending to three. You are trending up, so I'm not going to worry about it, I think, for now. Why is my infantry over here? Uh, Babelistan. Yeah, yeah, probably we would want to uh, have some troops on the border. I'll move you up there. Excellency. Surveyor, you have reached here. Bauxite. Well, okay. Bauxite, I believe, turns into aluminum? Okay, you come here now. What 
can we build from bauxite? Household appliances, probably. You need more plastics. We'll need a bauxite and a smelter, and then another manufacturing plant. It's all quite a bit. It's all a bit, it's all a bit much. We are selling a decent amount of our food. We don't want anything. Aluminum, household goods, luxury goods. Can I balk? What? Chikanistan. Seriously? Emperor Rusty the First? Much like Basenji, Western Purna was ruled by a tyrannical monument, monarch, before being invaded by Eastern Purna in 2005. The Treaty of Kovonia, Kukovnia, sorry, called for the West Purnish monarchy to be preserved, though made powerless with their annexation. The East Purnish, not without a sense of humor, fulfilled this condition by installing a barn fam rooster in place as a symbolic foam monarch. Um, okay. Appears to be run by the appears to be run by the rooster and his inner circle. Being a lower order avian, most analysts agree that the rooster is not even conscious of his station as ruler. Okay. Can I trade a, a small amount of processed foods? Yes. And we do need a road to Chikanistan. Does the chicken pop or? I think it just clucks and they pretend they understand what it's saying. <laughs> so this is what? A big joke? Everybody's in on it? Yeah, but they're so in on it that it's not a joke anymore. <laughs> How long do chickens live? I think they just replace the chicken every few years. And <laughs> okay, sure. Sure, why not? Um, taking a look. I know you would know this yourself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's all of our faces. I love it, you know. <laughs> FMV video, like, it just, it just makes, of course it makes, if you've ever played it, it makes you think of it immediately. We're all thinking it, red alert, right? I mean, that is the master of this. Um, we got a little bit of traffic situation going on here. Can't actually do anything about that, though. Just traffic going in there. Okay. Well, it looks like we don't have any actual traffic problems yet. We are going to make a fair amount of cash next year. How's our food doing? Um, okay, plenty is going there. We are, 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 are actually able to produce plenty. We have 313 oil coming in. We can totally be selling some oil. I would love to, to trade you something. Does anybody want plastics? You would take oil. The problem is, is canceling research agreements later is a problem. I would love To sell you something to make you not an enemy. That's not gonna happen. And the thing is, we want to actually wait. Maybe you're here? No. Until we get solar power. Solar power is very nice, doesn't take any inputs. We actually want to wait until we have solar power before we start making more power. Is it worth waiting? I mean, I think it's going to take quite a few more turns. Um, we can get exchange fear for intelligence. I think we'll hold on to this. You're trending up. Everything is going to be kind of okay over here. Approval of being in the 30s is okay for now. <laughs> Let's get everybody moving.
tanks are moving in the direction that we want. Um, you, surveyor. Excellency. Another large deposit of oil. Interesting. I feel like we're going to have a lot of oil available to us. I don't think we can actually make sales. Does this take? No, it does. All right, we can just end the turn. Excellent. Environmentalists are concerned about the poaching of a protected species of mountain goat by rural villagers in Saba and are asking you to put a special law enforcement task in place. Approve a special anti-poaching task task force minus eight percent rural approval in saba and we lose money or we receive money and we get minus one environmental quality in saba i already have pretty low environment we're just gonna take the approval and hope that people don't start rioting <laughs> unless you do want me to eliminate the rebel camp uh everybody just go sorry who are you Intelligence officer, are you moving in the right direction? Why would you be going that way? Weird. Um, we have a lot of oil coming in, and I think we've got the potential for a lot more oil. And right now, we just kind of want the monies, huh? So let's uh, let's sell some oil. Yeah. Current spot price is very very low. Export capacity of zero. Okay. Yeah, well, why was my? Why does this degrade? It just degrades over time, but this does not rise over time yeah we can't ever even trade anything to you household goods i would like household goods can we i want to repeal okay never mind can't do anything with them we do have money now we can actually look that's what this does. Investments can be devastated by events. We can spend 100 to get plus 24 per year. And investments are secure. 24 per year is not a whole lot. How is my research? Three more turns, probably. I mean, I think what we should do uh, do you take power? No. We can connect to you. We will need a smelter, which I think we can just do here. Lots of workers in this place. Yes. Okay. You should make aluminum. And you can build me a road to here. You take how much power? Two. Because once this gets a little bit close to what it is, we're going to start having rolling brownouts, which, you know, is not great. have no demand for this we're just selling a bunch our cities have no demand we do want them to have demand in time you're still slowly trending up 2.8 you'll get there um but actually we're out of time already for this episode we're going to continue moving towards this rebel camp 
we've got some cash coming in now 41 to 71 once we get this up and rolling we should definitely be looking to make some consumer uh what is it consumer goods household appliances household appliances because you can make a lot of money from this a lot of money and we would really like to do that of course, we are not actually investing in anything like society or governance right now, which maybe we want to do. We can do things like uh, make tourism, for example, make some embassies over here, or propaganda facilities. Condescent site, not yet. Nothing really that interesting over here. Is there not airports? International Airport, Prosperity and Immigrant Approval. We are working very slowly towards this solar array. Okay. I mean, we could... One thing that we could consider is changing our budget. Right? We could actually boost some of these things up. Like places where it's quite bad. This is not what I want. Prosperity could be much better. Um, review budget. Because we are making in a decent amount of cash. We could consider, for example, I mean, yeah, Rumai. We could do a little bit of subsidies to try and get this to be higher. In Karif, Booster Education. Carrick, we can do subsidies. Yeah, it's going to cost double, but okay, we'll still do it. Saba, Saba, you need a lot. Education is an easy fix. Environment is fine. And yeah, I don't really want, I want to do the health. I guess we'll do the health. And last but not least, conservation here as well. Okay, we're going to spend a little bit more money on these things. But I think it's worth it. And that's the end of the day, the turn, and this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, I feel pretty good. We're making good money, which is really important. You need that money to be able to invest into further things to then be able to turn around and uh, improve your people. I don't understand why, like, you're here. I feel like you guys should have made it a bit further than that. Instead of not... But okay. Well, no matter. We're going to deal with this next time. Until then, my name is Man the Maker. Don't forget to hit that like button. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.